Okay, I understand that's a filter, but god damn! I would've pissed my pants right there. I would've, I would've, I... Am I saying that bullshit? There are possibly a billion YouTubers. All right, let's see how this is. While many Honestly, have I agree. achieved success with their channels, numerous others have faded into obscurity or never gained traction at all. Some of these channels stand out as particularly disturbing, featuring people in strange masks or showcasing unsettling images. In yeah, it's, video, it's usually either this or it's usually YouTube some type of animation crap. Like some of the most disturbing YouTube channels also are, are like literal animation channels. And I am back from my little small break, which I didn't really announce in the first place. But follow me on all my social medias and let's get straight. Yes, sir, Murby, you already know I follow you. Kevin Leonardo. This first entry is more of a joke, but he has posted a few disturbing videos, and some may say that Kevin Leonardo is a pretty disturbing channel. Oh wait, Kevin is Leonardo it? first started his channel? Oh. It's the darkest of blacks guy. The darkest of blacks would get called out for cultural appropriation if they wore. I was like, wait, hold up. I think I recognize this channel. I'm like, oh, racist Asian guy that basically does whole block, whole bunch of racist jokes or blackface just to gain traction. All right. I now see how this is a joke one. I now see how this is a joke one. Cause I'm like, wait, hold up. I'm pretty sure I recognize this channel and I'm like, all right. 2021. However, before he started YouTube, he was already popular on TikTok, where he would tell stories about his past significant others. Kevin was a relatively oh, small YouTuber until he posted his most viral video yet. On June 25th, 2023, Kevin would post a visual guide on how to remove butt hairs, where three seconds into the video, he goatsies himself and flashes the camera in 4K. No way! It is not censored at all, and you do see everything. This video also surpassed 50 million views and went viral. So so he basically put an ISO speed and not talking content. Although this video was intended solely for educational purposes, its graphic content led it to become an internet meme. It generated shock reactions on platforms like TikTok. And I need to research which after this. Tricking their family or friends. I need to research this after. I, I need to research Despite this after. Some positive and supportive feedback. The video also faced criticism. Some viewers claimed it was made to be provocative, deemed to be inappropriate, and argued it should be removed from YouTube. It's like However, how, how the hell do you even do that? And not stating that it did not violate any guidelines. Although. But YouTube did age restrict the video. Now, okay, they age restricted Leonardo the video, but I'm the like, first person to make these educational <laughs> videos because in middle like, school, I do remember being shown these type of videos in sex ed. So Kevin Leonardo is not the first person. Yeah, to, to be fair, YouTube had like less strict rules, but now it's like you you, you really can't do this. Removing like unless like you age restrict the video, but like, like you know. However, nowadays it's like people don't take Kevin as seriously due to the fact that he does make a lot of jokes in his videos and due to his jokes people don't take him seriously compared to actual graphic educational content creators Bro, for example like most of his jokes but it's like trust me don't don't don't, video, don't give this guy traction don't give him attention that's because like especially his, his TikToks. do not check out his TikTok. most of them are just hella racist Kevin is receiving more backlash after doing blackface on May 7th, oh now he talks about it this is what I'm talking about it this is what i was talking about here like how in the actual fuck do you like just like i get it i like i get it's makeup i get it to makeup tutorial a lot of people were actually like defending them for some like fucking reason and i understand that it's like makeup but it's like did he have to do the entire thing like like ge like general question like i i don't wear makeup but it's like you know you you could have literally just did like some of it and not his entire face just, just Dark Night Skin Tint Serum Foundation. Which I really don't like this. I, I Kevin, 
who has not made a single makeup video till now, decided to review it where he covered his face in it. Another controversial thing that he did in this video is that he referred to black people as the, the dark, blacks. the darkest the of blacks. Fact, I'm not talking about Kevin Leonardo to cancel him because you can't really cancel anybody on the internet, but it does seem that Kevin Leonardo does engage in this rage bait content. So he's only saying that just to get a reaction out of viewers. Yeah, yeah guys. So my, in my about, opinion, just block him. Dude. Just block him and report his, his posts. Are just, extreme. Because after that, yeah, just don't give him attention. His content, his like, channel is very disturbing because of the things he shows. And I regret watching the Nair video. Shut up, my boy, me. Piggy Soda. In 2022, a new analog horror series. Okay, now is this a Piggy Soda. animation channel? In their videos, it features Where's this a up? dog man. It has the body of a man with the head of a dog. In the first video, you have somebody in bed watching two human dogs on TV who are mechanics. Oh! In the video, you see the person who's watching the TV pull out a Polaroid photo. However, you can't tell what the photo is due to how dark the room is. The how dark in the, in the quality is. Okay, no wonder it's, it looks creepy. Happens. Right when he puts down the photo, you see this distorted picture of one of the dog people, but it quickly resumes what back to the, the show fuck? that features the dog humans. Yo, After what the fuck? The video ends. This video is extremely weird. Why is there someone watching these human dogs on TV? And why did this eerie image of the dog man appear? I can't answer those questions just yet because the Piggy Soda YouTube channel has posted more videos. And it seems uh, that this uh, oh. is some type of analog horror series. In their second video titled, Dog Nightmares okay, no one, Dreams, no one the videos okay. start off with an image of a giraffe. Afterwards, it cuts to a kid's drawing of a giraffe. This pattern continues as you see real life photos of animals as it cuts to childlike drawings of the previous images. Okay, but so not for whatever reason, this pattern breaks by showing random photos such as this one of a family. It seems that every time this analog horror series shows real photos of people, they censor out their faces with a black box, which gives a very uncanny vibe to it. The video also cuts to images of a home, which weirdly enough, I get a nostalgic vibe to. I think that's because this old photo looks similar to my old childhood house photos not because our places look similar which they don't but it's the fact that it has the similar camera quality and lighting and when an analog horror video low key, not using nostalgia low key, elements, why is this looking like pictures you you when you see when someone like photoshops like a creepy type of monster or creature in there it later cuts to this like, image of a little girl standing in a hallway with her face censored out this photo is pretty chilling the video then cuts to somebody's pov presumably the same person watching the tv in the first video you see them picking up the drawings as we saw earlier, but then we see a drawing of the dogman outside of a window. The camera then pans to the window where you see nothing outside. Yo, 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 you know, on some for real shit, most of those pictures look like the pictures you'll see in like one of those TikTok slides where it shows something creepy and then just, just oh, oh god, some of those pictures. And then when, I, when it cut to like the kids, I'm like, oh no, because a lot of. I'll just re-show it on my screen. For some reason, I'm thinking, oh no. Is that like an original picture and then there's something behind her? We just can't see it? Or is it something? Uh, let's continue the video because just... I I'm very interesting on what the hell this However, is. I'm if very you up the image. You could see the dog man outside. The next two videos the on the channel fuck? are the same. Once again, it's Yo! these dog man videos, which I do find a bit cute, not gonna lie. Look at this good boy. Bro's fishing. But after we see the dog, it cuts to a camcorder recording from 2009, filming a missing dog poster. On the other video, it follows the same format. We see the show, but this time, the dogs are dressed up as waiters, chefs, and customers. But on the 32 second mark, you see okay, is this like an old show or is it like they record the this, the then they record it on a camcorder a and then they do something else with the camcorder? Um, the fifth video in this series, starts like I'm in, in I'm interested, but goddamn, once more, a few seconds into the video, it once again cuts to a camcorder recording, but this time it shows somebody putting up missing dog posters on a tree and it is revealed that the dog is named Bailey. We then see something oh, right. a note is revealed to us saying that somebody is calling the number on the missing dog poster but it's quiet on the other i'm not pausing for this i'm not pausing for this appears on but. screen saying that they've been gathering a lot of wegman tapes this actually answers the question why we are seeing a lot of these dog human videos because william wegman is the man behind creating these dog videos in fact oh. the horror series is using his work from sesame street since these wegman dog videos were featured on sesame street back in 1989 oh these so from sesame street oh uh. down some paranormal dog within the lore loki 
I thought it was just some from random show he didn't mention or I just never heard of. But all right, it's it's a segment for Sesame Street. Okay, no wonder. Like I watch Sesame Street, but I haven't watched like every episode, so that's probably the reason why I don't recognize this. And we later find out that the girl in the hallway is a photo of Emily. However, her photos are still censored out, but this time with a drawing of a dog. Afterwards, we see a drawing of a young Emily holding hands with a man, but we can't see his face. Probably her father. If you zoom into the drawing, you can see a tail, meaning that this is the dog man. Oh. Emily then decided to do some exploring in her house, which then this happens. Oh no. Oh no, please. Don't be on the creepy. Don't be something creepy. Okay, I understand that's a filter, but god damn! I would have pissed my pants right there. I would, I would, I, legit, I would have pissed my pants. That, that, that's hella creepy right there. That, that is, yeah, that is hella really creepy. Stuff. That, that Dota, is hella AKA creepy. Dog Nightmares has to be one of the best analog horror series. I, I might have to make that a thumbnail. I might have I to make that a thumbnail for watch. real. And by the way, these analog horror videos are still being made till this day. So the full lore isn't out there just yet, but I do recommend the watch. How is it be still Lemon. being made CC today? Lemon is this very obscure How? YouTube channel that showcases CC, I presume, looking into the camera for a while. In all of her videos, she is wearing an extremely creepy, uncanny mask of a woman. In all of her videos, she doesn't say a word, and you awkwardly hear the background sounds, but sometimes she would put Japanese music in the background. Weirdly enough, almost every video of hers is age restricted because it oh. goes against community guidelines. I have no idea why. It because in all of her videos is just her looking into the camera and there's nothing that goes against community guidelines from what, what i can see well she does have I'm a at the titled belly where she plays with her stomach but that video is not explicit at all but for youtube's sake i will be blurring it out just to be safe she started her channel maybe it's it's too sexual 2008 like yeah it's rubber and all that but maybe it's too sexual because the video like, is titled agawa studio uh -oh. female mask 4 and in this video she is just looking at the camera without saying a word she also appears to be very nipply and from the looks of it i believe i cropped the video all right suit of a woman i would say what do you what do you mean by that all right it's, it's cropped it's cropped also has breast attached to the mask there is a good chance that CC is actually a man who is cross-dressing with a woman's mask, but I can't really confirm that since there is no face reveal video. The only thing close to a face reveal video is her third video, where we see CC taking off her latex mask, where we then see that she's wearing another black latex mask underneath it which does look pretty scary. It doesn't really matter what gender they are, because if a man or a woman dressed up like that, it will be equally disturbing. C actually, wasn't there another YouTuber that did unless she talks about? I'm pretty sure they actually, they actually, unless this is like the YouTuber, I'm pretty sure there was like another like YouTuber. I forgot the video. I'll link it if I remember it. But someone else like, w like really like dressing up as like a female slash a, a girl, but he was like a boy. So he would dress up for like a video as a girl and just do, do that instead of like, you know, not change his gender. This could be the YouTuber, not gonna lie, but like I'm very confident it isn't. So I gotta, I gotta research after. I gotta, I, I'll show, if I find it, I'll show you guys the link after. Because I'm pretty sure this could be him, but maybe not. CC would post her last video on December 5th, 2010, where once again, she'll just look at the camera and not say a word. I'm very curious as to That's why she's making mom. these types of videos, but the question will never be answered. However, I did find another channel that's similar to CC Lemon, and the channel is called Simone Latour, where once again, oh, wait, this might be the these latex women masks staring into the camera without saying this might be the YouTuber. This might this might be the YouTuber, like they really like dressing up as a girl. And Simone's last video was posted back in 2014. By looking at Simone's hands, you can tell that she's much older than CC, and I'll admit that Simone's masks looks a bit more realistic as well. However, it is still very uncanny valley like. I wish I could add on more information about this community on YouTube, but it seems that all channels about this topic are very obscure. I would like to know more about this, but we reached a dead end. Overall, these videos do give me a very uncanny valley feeling. Mm. Breathe play. 
This YouTube channel by the name Breathe Play has right, some very breathe? disturbing videos posted to their channel. This channel was first created back in 2007 and has only 690. Oh, hey, a day before my birthday. A small, obscure YouTube channel that nobody has talked about until now. And also, the year I turned one years old. <laughs> for many years, and I've seen many disturbing videos. But my God, this channel has posted one of the most disturbing videos of all time. This video made me lightheaded, shaking, and overall very disturbed oh August 5th, no 2007 the channel rebreathe titled rebreather testing. testing which is a 46 second long video of somebody suffocating in this video you see a man dressed wait, in a wait, black wait. latex costume with an airbag attached Nico, to his what? And mouth there are no air holes in this costume meaning that the man inside the suit can't breathe visually the video is disturbing but what makes this video more disturbing <laughs> is the audio what you hear from this video is the man slowly losing his breath and by each second, he breathes heavier and heavier until he starts panicking for air. Panicking, he is still wearing the mask while you hear his blood curdly screams underneath the latex mask. At one point in the video, he mumbles, I'm dying. The comments underneath the video are just as disturbing because some comments read, the ultimate video on YouTube. It never disappoints. I watched it thousands of times. I love the- of course, of course, niggas like this comment this. Of course, they fucking comment like this. Like this, just oh, just like oh god, bro. Like just oh god. This is what I talk about. Like when, whenever you see gory videos like this or videos like this, because nowadays you won't see videos like this unless it's like some type of skit or it's like some type of animation video. But if it's not like real life, this is what I'm talking about. When YouTube ha like barely had rules. Like they had rules. They had rules, but they like barely had any rules to like now to where you can actually post like videos like this get tons of views and guess what it would it wouldn't get taken down it wouldn't have gotten taken down just a bit from 33 seconds where he's like calling for help would love to be doing stuff to him for me pleasure comes from the lack of oxygen these niggas are freaky these niggas are freaky like 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 on some for real shit these niggas are freaky to the lack of breath I have accidentally stumbled upon gore before by some edgy middle schoolers showing it to me when I was in middle school. And I can confidently I can somewhat relate, but it's more in elementary school, honestly. Terrible to actual gore videos. Although this YouTube video is not gory at all, but it is comparable to a gore video. The same YouTube channel also has two different uploads of somebody wearing a gas mask swimming underwater. For those who don't know, it's extremely dangerous to wear a gas mask what? underwater what? and it defeats the whole purpose of breathing. This whole channel is extremely weird. You got videos you dedicated a, to the lack of breathing and the bizarre comments. Like, 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 general question, what? Watching these videos, but why? As you can see, the name of the channel is called Breathe Play. So I decided to copy paste the name onto Google just to see if any additional information pops up. And it turns out that Breathe Play is some type of kink that people have. Breathe play, also known as erotic asphyxiation, is the intentional restriction of oxygen oh, to the breath or the person. So these niggas are freaky. Arousal. You can do it to yourself or to your partner consensually. This kink is very disturbing and dangerous. This sounds like some quagmire type of shit, like from Family Guy, because. Quagmire likes getting choked, so not gonna hold. Oh, what in the fuck? What is that thumbnail? Because it is extremely gruesome. On October 30th, 2019, oh, this, this is channel called 37.5 slash 2019. Post a very strange video titled 14.44. The video starts off like this. Okay, that's clearly an eye, but why does this look like a music track disc? You get jump scared by a real photo of a flayed human, which looks terrifying. And for the record, this looks nothing like the cartoon photos you see in school. Above the image of the flayed human, you see a message telling you to visit the link that is shown on screen. I hate to break it to you guys, don't. but I am not clicking on that link because I don't it is very sketchy and I don't trust it one bit. The channel also has more disturbing videos such as these. What the hell is this? Uh, 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 us seeing someone in the dog. Greg. What the f Yo, what? Yo, this feels like some TikTok shit. What is this? Here is 2020. Is this a German channel? What the f
What is that sound effect? At the end of all of the videos, it flashes the same link. Although I said that I won't be playing it, I do have a good theory on what the link contains. As you remember, the video that features the flayed human is titled 14.44, and this could be referring to the 1444 video. The 1444 video is an extremely controversial YouTube video oh. that showcases a man offing himself. The reason why this video is extremely controversial is because YouTube put this video on recommendations, and it got many views. Nick. Worst part about it this is this video stayed up on the platform for weeks before YouTube eventually took it down. Another important thing to note is that if you read the comments, so I'm guessing they were doing Logan Paul before Logan Paul. Some ordinary gamers. Luckily for him, he does do deep research investigations on the dark web, so maybe Muda actually searched up the link. Sadly, it seems that Muda may have deleted the video where he talked about this channel because I honestly wouldn't blame him through his old uh. videos, skimming through them to try and find him talking about the Flayed Man video, but I couldn't find anything. Plus, Muda is no stranger on deleting some of his videos, which he has done in the past. If anybody knows what the link contains, please let me know in the comments below. But I do want to state that I don't recommend anyone to actually search up the link I'm because not something that bad could happen. Not I legit yeah. don't know, so I don't encourage any of you guys to click on the link. Loki, I might just have to look on Reddit. Loki, I might just have to look on Reddit because honestly, knowing Reddit, knowing Reddit, we're probably four chan. I could just Reddit might know what the hell the link is, so I might I may have to go on Reddit. We, we may have to go on Reddit to actually figure out what the hell it is. Once doing like content, I was never burnt out for the record, but you know sometimes you do need your small little breaks, and I'm finally back, which I am very happy about, and hopefully I can make some IRL videos for you guys very soon because I got a lot of good stuff Ooh. you guys. So stay tuned for that. Follow me on all my social medias, and I'll see you guys in my next video see you guys later morbid Serious, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, yo. All right, yo, dub morbid banger, dub morbid video. Not gonna hold you, I really enjoyed the hell out of that video. Like, I w wasn't expecting some of these. I was expecting some of the most co like common ones people talked about on YouTube before, where it's just random channels, dark humor, and something else. But no, some, but no, th these are actually ones I actually have never heard of before. Like, other than like the um the man dressing up as a female, because uh, like I'm pretty sure a lot of YouTubers talked about this, and then I'm pretty sure the last um the semen uh, Latour guy. I don't I'm, honestly don't know how to say his name. I'm pretty sure people talked about him before, and then I don't. I don't know what the hell the, the, this last one is like what in the hell like this just feels like you're, you're like you're like creepy pasta people just want to post because like ooh or a video but overall comment more being a comment more video honestly i really i really enjoyed the hell out of that i i really enjoyed the hell out of that and um yeah that was the video hope you guys enjoyed the video please scrub the bell was gonna if i win i upload a new video comment what do you guys remember out to next says so that was the video i'll see you guys later bye Oops.